Hey kids, want to see something cool? You continue, and it just immediately transitions into Waddle D Town. Isn't that cool? It's cool. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part, I believe this is 10, of Kirby and the Forgotten Land. All right, so we've begun Wandaria Ruins last time. And we shall continue to do so this time around. However, this time around, I want to actually get through these next two levels over with this time around. We ain't got no time for treasure roads because the levels in Wandaria Ruins are remains are just way too good. Invasion at the House of Horrors. Let's do it. And if any of you say this has never been done in the Kirby game before, play Triple Deluxe. Now then, let's head inside the tunnel where we have the House of Horrors in a disco setting. This is really cool because I, I really love the fact that, again, Wandaria Remains, Old Abandoned Amusement Park, you got to take advantage of that theming in many different ways. And this is one of the many ways that you can do it. Just make it like, just make one of the levels like a hot, like a house of horrors. Like, in Trouble Deluxe, obviously, you had the, you had that whole level where it's basically based on, like, the hallway of mirrors or something. But now they're doing, like, a haunted house, and that's really cool. It's just a cool thing that I really like to see. And especially with this bop. I like this bop a lot. Now, of course, you're going to be running into all sorts of weird, spooky dooky things in, the, in this level. You're going to be finding ghost enemies. You're going to be fighting well actually you're gonna be standing against you know these obstacles that obviously will go away or if you just you know crawl black crawl past them like that and uh yeah and also this thing too behold behold light bulb mouth kirby we get to be a light bulb. Okay, so in this part, what you have to do is you have to use light bulb mouth and the attack button to illuminate your way right here like so. This is merely more of an obstacle course rather than an obstacle course rather than you just fighting enemies with this. This is this is purely here to be your way across like a dark area like this one in a very special situation. Once again, not all mouthful mode, uh, you know, abilities can be winners, but hey, it does help. It does help with gameplay variation at least. It does help. Okay, so let's continue. Once that fake monster pops out, that's when these little that's when these little wall thingies right here will pop out too. And, well, you can do that. Oh, and by the way, right there is an enemy called a Ghost Gordo. Uh, don't let them touch you because that is an objective that you have to do in order to get a Waddle D. Don't let the go Ghost Gordo touch you, otherwise you won't get that Waddle D. The Ghost Gordos will notice your presence whenever they whenever you get lit up. Or rather, when you light up your light bulb mouth. Per se. Just saying. D don't do that thing. Anyway, time it just right, and you'll be able to rescue that Waddle D from the box. Of course, if you get it wrong, then obviously you'll get a Gordo instead of a Waddle D. So... Coolsville, Coolsville. That didn't happen. That did not happen. Your eyes are playing tricks on you. Because clearly, 
me touching a ghost gordo when I specifically said that was an objective that you had to do. Not touch the ghost gordos. That didn't happen. I swear to God. If you bring it up, then none of you are allowed to watch my next Phoenix Wright LP. No one. <laughs> All right. So we got that. And let's see. Hidden snacks. I think I'm... I think I'm good on uh, the hidden snacks thing. Possibly. Yeah, I think I can. Yeah, right here. Okay. So we got that. And now we can actually move on here. Okay. So we don't need this anymore. And now, let's see. Kill that... Spooky boy. And now we kill the spooky boy. Now then, which way is it? One that obviously has a depth of field? Or one that's obviously not having a depth of field at all? This is a spooky house after all, so you gotta be surprised. That one ghost that I just killed kind of looks like Bogmar from Luigi's Mansion. It really does. Tell me that it isn't. Look me in the eye and tell me that it isn't. Alright, so now you go over to the right here. You get this figurine. And I believe, yeah, right here. The third snack that you want to look out for is right here. There we go. Good old objective complete. But now go inside here. And you'll be able to find the Time Crash Blueprint. This is going to lead to a very broken ability, and I can't wait to show you it. <laughs> it's going to be busted, man. Absolutely busted. Ha! You can't fool me. You can't fool me. Actually, you can, because I can not hover over that no matter how hard I try. So it looks like the House of Horrors has won this round. But, did they, though? Did they, though? That's right, I can destroy you without a second thought. <laughs> That's what the Vending Mouth is for. And I believe this is going to be another challenge here, or another objective here. You gotta destroy these fake ghosts with the vending mouth. So, make sure you destroy all of them because that is gonna be your objective here to get a Waddle Dee. It's pretty easy to, it's pretty easy to do. After all, you got way over a hundred cans. You're fine. Plus, the last Waddle Dee is right here anyway. Destroy thirteen aliens using the vending mouth. There we go. And I believe we're good on objectives. So with that, let us drop the vending mouth and, and proceed to victory. We proceed to victory. We got the things. Okay, so that was pretty fun actually, minus the hiccup that you didn't see. And, like, I probably don't like the um, light bulb mouth section as much as I did the, the other ones. But I still think this level is pretty cool. It's still really great. But you'll notice a little bit of a thing going on. When we entered the invasion of the House of Horrors, you'll notice that it was sunset. We've been going through these amusement parks, this amusement park, all day long. And, unfortunately, our time at the amusement park is almost over. What better way to end it than by going through the Wandaria Dream Parade?
The Wandaria Dream Parade is the perfect way to end this world. <laughs> it's perfect, man. Like, you've been at the amusement park all day long. You could... Yeah, our, our fun is almost over, but one last surprise, and that is the Wandaria Dream Parade. Oh my god, the build-up at the beginning is amazing. <laughs> it's like this world tells a story, and it's pretty much probably the only level that does that. Or pretty much the only world in this game that does that, and I really, really like it. I really like it a lot. It's like, where where is this? Where was this in the in the last two worlds, eh? Nowhere. They were they were waiting for Wandaria to finally run with the concepts. And I can't be any more happier because of it. Help the lost ducklings find their mama. Again. <laughs> so yeah, we started it and we're ending Wandaria with that. With the ducks. Because of course we do. Okay, so let's get this first Waddle Dee here. And now we can move on. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. So right here, uh, one of the objectives in this level is to clear it without stepping in the mud. So uh, please uh, do not step in the mud. Don't do that thing at all. Please. Because otherwise you won't get that Waddle D. Alright. So do this. Tornado is recommended for this. Because it'll help you stay in the air. Okay. <laughs> wow, I almost got hit right there. Jesus. 5.555 seconds? And that's okay. Because what we can do is use Cone Mouth right here to press the switch right here. And bring up that little road, that piece of road right there. And now we can cheese the race. Just like that. I honestly really like to see anybody get to five seconds using the regular way. I'm pretty sure speedrunners have already found a way. Or if not, then that's technically, like, impossible. Kirby games are known for being tighter than that. Come on. <laughs> not letting you cheese anything unless it's intended by the developers and or accidental by the developers. Uh, anything here? Aside from the flower? Guess not. Of course, that blue star is right there. Just in case you need to retry. But I don't need to retry. I'm good. It's all fine. All right. Get that Waddle D. See, like, even the music is, like, even the music is, like, really, really happy. It's like really, really happy that you that you get to enjoy it, and this is like this is like my other this is my other other experience with a parade because I was one of the lucky ones to get selected to join a parade at Disneyland. You know, the good old days of Disneyland before Disney and Marvel took over. <laughs> actually, actually, I haven't been to Disneyland since. Uh, I haven't actually been to Disneyland since the 90s. Jeez. <laughs> like, oh my god. I, I haven't been to... I haven't not been to Disneyland since that time. And have times have changed for Dis for Disno. Because now they got Fox. Now they got uh, Marvel. They got Star Wars. So, obviously things have changed there. I really should just go to Dis. I really should just go to Disney World one of these days and just be like, "Hey, remember me?" And then nobody will be like, "Who?" <laughs> I was in a parade once. Who? <laughs> anyway, we have water balloon mouth right here, getting to be useful again. And 
yeah. Uh, one thing you should note about Water Balloon Mouth is uh, the fact that, well, your water supply isn't infinite. In case you need to refill, there's always stations right there where you need to refuel on water. So, yeah, Water Balloon Mouth can run out of water. And you'll definitely need to refill. You know, eventually. I just like moving around like this. Fleur Tornado. Alright, so we're definitely checking that out. Whenever we can. Okay, so I don't think... At least I hope I haven't. I hope... That I haven't stepped in any mud because that would be terrible if I did. Thus ruining my perfect record. Actually, it's not really perfect anymore. It was never perfect to begin with. And now one more time for the road. Where you get to avoid all of these machines that want to kill you or can kill you. But can't because they're not operated by anybody. And there you go. That's our last Waddle D. Yeah. I don't know why there's an ice ability right there. I really don't know why they would give you ice right here. Look at the splendor. Look at the wonder. Ha! Wonder. Wondaria. Ha! But yeah, what a good way to end one dark. Like, jeez. <laughs> so good. Yeah, if you can't tell, I really like the levels of one Daria. There we go. I knew I did it. I knew I did it great. Fire Kirby. Rental lockers. And Needle Kirby. Okay. Not bad. Okay, so we got all that done. And we rescued every single Waddle D so far. And of course, you know what that means. We take on the good old-fashioned boss fights at the end. But not right now, because, well, we got treasure roads to do, and then possibly if we have time, then we might see another function of Waddle D Town. And possibly, like, upgrade our abilities, but, you know, it's all good. Anyway, got that, and we got that too. All right, so next time on Kirby in the Forgotten Land, we take care of the treasure roads, and if we have time, we will probably go back to Waddle Dee Town to see what's new. See you guys on next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Oh, yeah.